so next is your static friction and dynamic friction so you know static means stationary friction means when object is totally not moving on my surface still there is a friction between these zones that's why it is staying here if i put it in ice it is trying to slide or something so that is your static friction dynamic friction means when object moves forward what is the friction between your object and the surface it depends on the surface also if surface is very rough the object stops very fast if surface is like very smooth like floor or ice it will slide so even i can create such a situations here very simple example i'll tell you so there is a house roof and three boxes are there Dynamics is totally faking your natural effect. That's all. You don't consider like static friction will work like that. I want the situation. Whatever I may be using, I may be using dampening unnecessarily. I may be using mass unnecessarily. But my situation is important. Unless unless I am getting like my situation, I can use any of the attributes irrespective to the simulation. Okay. So once again, select all of them. Say active body and apply gravity. Select this and say passive body. Okay. So what happens? They will start. So because they have the same values, they are dropping down like a twins. So now let me say select one of them and go to static friction and dynamic friction. So at a time I will increase this both of them. Okay. So static friction and dynamic friction. Let me increase for this object. Like I will say five. Okay. Now automatically you can see a drastic difference. What is happening? This is slowed down totally. Literally it's slowed down because it is inverting dynamic and both static friction with the surface also. Even if I increase some static and dynamic friction with for this, like phi, if I say for this, automatically it will affect the total objects also. Now equal once again because phi phi same equal. That's why that is neutralized. So remove this from 0.2 only. Okay. Sir, like if anything heavy falls on from the roof cluster, mm. it slows down. Sure. Like that, volume. more of the dynamic and this friction will do that effect. Like it will come and literally slow down. Hmm? Because it got little bit of bounciness and all those things, it's still coming down. If I decrease that also, it will literally stop. same static means static we don't consider as a friction because object is in a stationary motion there is no use for that friction but still object is there it will maintain like sliding majorly because here it is literally i will make this little like more this just decrease them little bit down see the sliding this is what because it got higher mass of what static friction it is stopping there only it doesn't have these two guys doesn't have that they got 0 0.2 which is default a little bit force because it got some down force it is trying to move like this that's all so it depends on your hardware i can't do computer is calculating like that it may be different in your system in other system also and I'll tell you how to change them into keys. That is another process. Baking of keys. First understand the other mm. mm. depend roughness ki dan ki This because I increased the static friction, I said, na, here I increased what? See, static friction and dynamic friction is 10. For this, it is 0 0.2. That's the difference. That's why it is behaving like a heavy object. These are like sliding. Sir, why it is only going flat, sir? It is not rolling at all. Rolling means height is not there to roll, na. It's rolling one roll. See, it is taking one roll. After that, there is no roll because there is no bounciness and it is sliding happily. 
See, when a object rolls, when something obstructs it, it tries to put, then it will roll. Okay? So that is your static friction and dynamic friction. Huh? Next is your collision layer. Collision layers is something like your normal layers only. Means similar layers, dynamic objects will react. Different layer dynamic objects will be not reacting with each other. I'll show you a very different, little bit confusing, but you can see this. there goes my situation like I want there is a wall is a passive body okay so they think this is a bullet so this bullet is a penetrating bullet which can go through my wall and hit this area but this is a bullet which is not going to penetrate it will just hit here and drop down there so this is the situation how to create this situation so first of all same thing I have to do select all of them and say passive body select your balls here and say active bodies, fields, gravity, then let them settle, you can just give 200 frames and let them settle, okay, stop, solvers, initial state set for all dynamics you say, so this is my first situation, so majorly what you will be doing, select this and it has to hit here, so z direction you will be giving something like 10 and the same thing you will be giving for that object also, which is 10. So this is the situation. So presently what happens, the door go there and come back because this is a passive body. If you see, each and every object are placed in a default collision layer called zero. Okay. So if I change this passive body collision layer to something like one, I'll just change to collision layer one. Means now it will just react with one collision layer objects only or let it be zero for this I'll change to one yeah? okay this is in the collision layer one and it has react it has to react with this which is in the same collision layer one in between zero is there so it will ignore that totally but there is a major problem it, they will go down because the down part also got what zero if i say one for them okay for okay for this situation but what happens to the other thing so there is a universal layer you have to create for some objects like this floor has to accept any layer either it may be one either it may be zero or hundred it has to take each and every that is a universal layer so tell me what i have to do which I layer i have to put I have why universal. <laughs> why universal then it will react to all the why because infinite is represented by minus one, just give minus one value so that it will accept each and every layer. Okay, so automatically what happens? I got the situation. See, now it is going, it is ignoring layer one, layer zero, and because it is in the layer one, this is in the layer one, they are reacting. This is in the zero, this is zero, it is obstructing. That's the same situation. Maybe you want that, you can put them in different layer two also. It means the two is. A yeah, this is also two. Mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. Isko bhi aisa kara? You can put them in two. This is also two. You can put. So automatically, so automatically you will get this. Means they will ignore the zero layer. Anytime you want to create a universal layer, go for minus one. Means they will react with each and every layer. So this is your collision layer. Stand in leave it not so important active as I said anytime you can make your app object active or passive means you can key them passive so main difference between active and passive means active whenever the dynamic object is inactive it is totally controlled by the computer you can't put your manual keys you can't do anything but when body is in passive body you can manually animate and it will react also I'll tell you a very simple example
They settled, huh? Solvers, we shall set it. So I want this plant to be manually animated. If I say active body, it will just bounce down and react like that. I don't want like, I want to manually animate something like this and it is just pushing all these objects down. That's the situation. So what I'll do, I'll say this is a passive body. Hmm? Good passive body I said. Then I can start putting the keys on this, manual keys. Set a key S, then 20th frame, make it down. Huh? If, if auto key is on, automatically it will put the key. Or it'll say S, okay? So it is coming down. Then from there, 50th frame, you just drag. You can't see anything now. Present, you just do the simulation. Set a key. That's done. Now you play. Because it is a passive body, you can put the keys manually and it will react also with the other objects. What happened? It's pushed. The ball's out. It totally depends on the speed. Because I took very less frames. Maybe I'll put this almost uh, yes and put more frames no then no problem then put more frames it will slowly push the things hmm? maybe it is not going so far so it will go through. Hmm? So like that passive bodies can work manually, you can animate those things huh? whenever you want. So always remember that. Hmm? Whenever so there is a situation like for some time you have to do manual animation, after that you want to make active also, you can do. So that is majorly when we talk about set active key and passive key. Hmm? Which we see. Uh, 